write the output of the program given here. So in order to write the output, execution of a Python program starts and ends at the main function. How did you know that this is the main function? Because when you examine the code, you can see that DEF, so which means this is a programmer created function. Just see the indentation. Okay, so this much is a programmer created function by the name find output. So certainly this one is the main function. The indentation is also equally important. So when you run a Python program, execution of a Python program starts here and it ends here. Okay, so the first line in the main function, it's a function call. Because when this symbol is encountered, understand that it is a function. On encountering a function call, finally control reaches the point where the function is defined. So which means from here, finally the control comes here. <coughs> now inside the function, L is equal to this string, E A R N. So you can see your variable L is pointing to this string. <coughs> And now here let me write positive indexing forward indexing and here let me write backward indexing or negative indexing so depending on the need you can use them okay now x is equal to empty string so you know that your variable x is pointing to an empty string now count is equal to one so variable count is pointing to the integer quantity one okay and when multiple statements are written in the same line they are separated using semicolon so there is no syntax error in this statement okay now for i in l which means l is a string how did you understand from this one okay so for i in l means i contains each and every character of L one by one. So take the first character of L that is small e. So now your variable i contains small e. Okay, so please make a note of that. Now i contains small e. So small e in a e i o u. So here what the in operator does is if small e is present in this list true is returned as answer otherwise false is returned as answer so you can see that small e is present in this list so true is returned as answer which means this condition is true so this statement will be executed the statement associated with the if will be executed now plus equal to is a short form how can you expand that the expanded form is x is equal to x plus i dot swap case now what does the swap case function do if i contains a lower case alphabet that is converted to upper case and vice versa okay so it is you it performs an action only with alphabets so what does i contain i contain small e so small e dot swap case which means you get capital E. So here you get character capital E. What does X contain? Empty string. So your empty string is concatenated with a capital E, which means now your variable X points to capital E. So here capital E comes, you can see. Now, after this, to where the control goes, the control comes here. And what is the reason for that? Just see the indentation. Okay, which means this is part of this for loop. So count plus equal to one is a short form, meaning count is equal to count plus one. So one plus one, two, which means now your variable count points to two. Okay, now this is outside for loop. Just see the indentation. Okay, so this should be executed when the for loop finishes executed execution. Now I take the next in character in this string variable. What is the next character in the string variable? Small a. So now your i points to small a. Now is small a present in this list? 
yes it is present so the in operator returns true as answer which means the condition is true so statement associated with the if will be executed this is the short form this is the expanded form so assignment operator right to left what does x contain capital e that should be concatenated with the i dot swap case what does i contain small a so what is small a dot swap case you get capital a okay so capital e should be concatenated with the capital a so now your x points to e a you can see e capital e capital a now after this the control comes here count plus equal to one plus equal to is a short form so count is equal to count plus one two plus one three that becomes the new count you can see now for loop i takes the next character in this string variable what's the next character r so here now your i points to small r is small r present in this list no it is not present so in operator returns the answer false okay so condition is wrong which means the control comes to else part what does count variable contain three and what is three modulo two when you divide three with the two whatever is the remainder the modulus operator returns remainder as answer so three modulo two when you divide three with the two one into two two the remainder is one so here you get the answer one and what is exclamatory mark equal to sign not equal to so one not equal to zero condition true so this statement will be executed again plus equal to is a short form the expanded form is this okay what does x contain e a that should be concatenated with the, this one now the slicing operator the first index is missing so if the first index is not given by default it is the beginning index zero okay second index is count what does count contain three so what is l of zero colon three the slicing operator returns all the characters starting with the index 0 ending with a 3 minus 1 so ending with a 2 which means e a r here is returned as answer so here you get the substring here and what is length of year three characters are there so length of year is 3 and that 3 is converted to string which means you get double quotes 3 so x which is e a should be concatenated with a string 3 which means now your x becomes e a 3 okay that's that now after this again the control comes here plus equal to short form count is equal to count plus 1 3 plus 1 4 that becomes the new count again i takes the next character in the string variable what is the next character the last character is n so now your i points to character n is n present in this list no so in operator returns the answer false okay so condition wrong control comes to else part what does count variable contain 4 what is 4 modulo 2 when you divide 4 with the 2 remainder 0 0 not equal to 0 false condition wrong so control comes to else part plus equal to is a short form it is expanded as x is equal to x plus i what does x contain e a 3 that is concatenated with the i what does i contain small n so e a 3 is concatenated with a small n that is assigned it to x which means now your new x is e a 3 small n after this the control comes here count plus equal to 1 count is equal to count plus 1 so 4 plus 1 5 that becomes the new count now again for loop no more characters are there to be retrieved okay which means for loop finishes execution now the control comes here print x what does x contain e a 3 small n so in the computer's monitor you get the answer e a 3 small n okay now the function is completely executed after executing a function 
control returns to the point from where the function was called. So control returns here and finally the program terminates. So when you run this program, the output of the program is EA3 small n. Okay, so please bear in mind the new points. One, swap case, it works with alphabets or string. Okay, so if this is lower case, that is converted to upper case and vice versa. And here, what is the meaning of in operator? If this character is present in this list, true is returned as answer. Otherwise, false is returned as answer. Okay, and the meaning of this one, the first index is not given. So by default, it is zero. Count variable at that point contains 3. So, L of 0 colon 3 returns all the characters starting with index 0, ending with a 3 minus 1, 2. So, this substring here is returned as answer.